Hi, in this video, we're going to show you how to edit an existing website or create a brand new website through OMA. Just log into your By Design account, click on My Products, and then Online Marketing AI, and then click on Access Now. You'll be dropped right into your OMA account. Make sure that you complete your three-click marketing onboarding series. And once you've completed your three-click marketing onboarding series, the rest of your OMA account will open. Once the rest of your account is open, you're going to go on over to websites and you can see all the websites that are already done for you. To edit an existing website, choose the website which you want to edit and then click on the edit button here, bottom left-hand corner. So for this demo, I'm going to choose to edit the one that's labeled demo purposes by design. Once I've clicked on edit, I can go through and take a look at that website and I can click on any section of that website. So I'm going to click on this section here. Now, if I want to change the heading here, I can just add to it. I can even change the subheading here. And I can click on OK if I'm satisfied. I can also change any of the styles of the section by clicking on style here. I can see the alignment and spacing. I can even change the section background heading or subheading fonts. Once I'm satisfied, I click on OK. And now that I've changed that section, I can click on that section here and duplicate it by clicking on the copy button here. And I can choose to edit this section as well, or I can delete that section if I'd like, or I can move any section by clicking on it and dragging it where I would like it to go. Click on OK to make sure that section is saved. Now, once I've completed the edits that I like over here, I can also add to this website. If I wanna to choose to add a great button, I can click on that button and pull it on over and I can add a great heading or subheading. I'm just going to, of course, choose Demo Purposes, OMA subheading and then I can choose the button text and I can choose the button action here as well. I can choose a redirect URL, call phone, email, download, PDF. I'm just going to choose the redirect URL, put in your website. Maybe you want to go have them go directly to your by design website, or you have a website you'd like them to go to. You can choose that button URL, click on OK, and now you've created the button. You can also explore each and every section here, delete it, add, or edit it. If I want to edit this section here, let's say I want to add GDPR to this box, I can go ahead and click on the GDPR compliance and click on show GDPR checkbox. Click on OK, and now that section is updated as well. So you can choose to slide any of the features that are here by clicking on them and pulling them over if you'd like, or choose to edit any of the sections, copy or delete them. You can also go over to this toggle here, top left-hand corner, kind of looks like a wheel, click on it, and you could upload a logo image if you'd like. You can also choose a business name. You can choose to change your website settings. You have a website name here. You can change it here or the website URL. You can also change the language here. I have Spanish here. You can choose any of the languages that we have here. But it is also important to note that when you change the language to either English, French, German, or Spanish, your three-click marketing content will appear once it's available for this website in the language of that website. So if I choose Spanish here, I will get Spanish three-click marketing content. 
You can also choose to add your social media, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram. You can change your keywords if you'd like here. You can delete or edit them. This will also add to your three-click marketing or change the content through three-click marketing when you choose different keywords. You can also change the website background, default heading font, subheading paragraph, default color. And if you'd like to add a tracking pixel, you can do that by adding custom code and you can see the code name and you could paste your tracking pixel code below. This is how you edit your website. I'm just going to choose save and exit here. Now we're going to go over how to add a brand new website. So still in the website sections, I'm going to go over here and click on add new, choose my business name, choose my website name. I can choose my language. Also, once again, you can choose the language of your website. If you choose English, French, German, or Spanish, that's the three click marketing content that will come up. I'm going to leave this English. I can choose my website URL. You can see all of the categories listed here. And if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you can even see a section that says by design. And you can choose your subcategory here. For this demo, I'm going to choose online marketing AI and then click on next. Once I have chosen my uh, website that I'm adding new to, I can of course go back through and edit any of the features of that website just by clicking on them once again, changing my heading. You can change the subheading and style as well. You can move or delete or duplicate any of the sections like we showed you in the edit section. You can even add GDPR here by clicking on the box. And you can of course change any of the website builder sections here. You can upload your logo. You can change the website settings if you want to change the language content. You can also change the keywords, website background, or add custom code in here. And then just click on save and exit. And now you've built a brand new website. So you've just seen how to add a completely new website and how to edit an existing website with us here at OMA. Thank you so much for watching.